Friends of Model Trains, welcome to another video in our Digital for Beginners series. In today's video, I'll show you how to activate the Z21 Start using the app. Up to now, this only worked with a PC, but now it also works with the Z21 Updater app. To activate the Z21, use the Wi-Fi package 10814. The set has all the components you'll need, like the pre-configured Wi-Fi router with the power supply unit. The LAN cable for connection to the Z21 and, of course, the most important thing, the activation code. To connect, turn the control center over, take the LAN cable and connect it to the LAN socket of the Z21. The other end of the cable must be connected to one of the yellow sockets. Not the blue one, because then it won't work. Then the power supply unit has to be connected to the router. Don't forget the power supply unit of the Z21, because it also needs power. Next, scratch off the activation code. For example, I use the back of a pair of tweezers or a coin to scratch off the numbers. You need the Z21 Updater app for activation. You can find it in the Google Play Store or in the Apple App Store. This means activation is also possible with iOS devices. After the app downloads, open it. Here you have the option of updating the firmware of the control center and now also activation of the Z21. To do this, tap on Activate. You will now be guided through the activation process. Do I have an activation code? Yes, we do, it was just scratched off. So this question can be answered with yes. Now a search is done for the Z21, but it is not found yet because it is not connected to the Z21 network. But this can be done here, under Settings. Now you are taken to the settings and the Z21 is found. Where does this number come from? This is the number on the bottom of the Wi-Fi router. The last four numbers are relevant, 0707. So we select it, and then you have to enter the Wi-Fi password, which is at the bottom under Wi-Fi password or PIN. Once you've done this, the app or the device connects to the Wi-Fi router of the control center. The message, no internet connection, appears, but that is fine because you do not need the internet to operate the device. Now we switch back to our app. The app has found our control center. Now the app loads the serial number from the control center that is required for activation. The serial number of the control center is displayed here, which can be noted down on the slip of paper with the activation code. Then click on Next. You will then see the link up here. To be able to use it, you have to connect to the home network, so to the internet. So we go to the network settings and switch back to the home network to connect to the internet. Then we go back to the app and follow the link. And here you enter the serial number of the activation code and then the three fields from our activation code that were scratched off earlier. Finally, at the bottom, the Z21 serial number that we've just read out. And confirm this serial number a second time.
Check again that the numbers are all correct and then request the code. Here you can see the activation code. It must be noted down so it can be entered into the app to activate the control center. Each activation code can only be used one time. This means that the code can only be used for one Z21 control center, no more. Now we switch back to our Z21 in the app and enter the activation code here. Then click on Next. Activation was successful and from now on, you can use the Z21 entirely for wireless control. This means that your model railway can be operated wirelessly and the Z21 control app can be used. As you can see, the activation also works with Apple devices, such as an iPad in this case. Now your model railway can be controlled wirelessly. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time.